Step into the office. What's up, people? Today's video is going to be a little different. Running some errands, doing some things today, but I get a lot of comments in the comment section. Pedro, why are you still doing DoorDash? You talk about betting on yourself, but you're still working to get gaps. You work them too much. You're still working them. What's going on, you know? Um, why are you still doing this work if you don't like it? Uh, you know, some valid questions, but also... When people send me stuff like that, they clearly don't watch a lot of my videos, and that's okay. So I can totally see why somebody might come in and be like, dude, you've been on here for a year and a half on YouTube. You've been talking about the same nonsense. What's going on? Well, I wanna share with you guys some things, some of you new people, appreciate all the new subs. Hit the like button, y'all, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all so much. And I appreciate all my OGs been rocking with me since day one. I just sent out 20 bags today for people that said they wanted a bag, so. Bags are coming to many of you guys from the gig conference. So, why do I still do DoorDash? Why am I still in the gig economy? Why am I doing this kind of work? What am I working towards? Let's talk about that today in today's video for a little bit. So, for some of you guys, you'll know I've been working the, in the gig economy for two and a half years, part time for a year, and full time starting a year and a half ago. And I'm, I'm part time right now. I think DoorDash, Instacart, Uber Eats, Rideshare. Grubhub, deliver that. I think it's a great way to make money. I think the best way to do it is to do it kind of part-time-ish. I think if you're doing it a lot every single day and, and you don't have an exit strategy, it's not great. It's my opinion, at least in my market, but everybody do what you want to do, right? But I have documented my journey of me using the apps to bet on me, set goals, do it one day at a time. Uh, I just hosted the first inaugural gig conference for people in the gig economy. Uh, 10 or 11 YouTubers showed up and then about 80 to 90 people that work the gig economy don't have a YouTube channel. And uh, nobody's ever done that before. Nobody. So if anybody else wants to do something like that, uh, please feel free. Try your hand at it and let's see how well you do. I would love to see other people do something similar to bring people together. Some people think the gig conference was a waste of time, waste of money, what did it accomplish? I, listen. If you weren't there, you don't really know. But a conference is basically putting, bring, bringing people together to talk about topics, share ideas, bond, connect in a way that's never been done before in this community. You know, I'm gonna continue to do it, continue to do it, continue to do it. And every year it will grow and be bigger and better and bolder and offer even more value to anybody that decides to come and it will be in various cities. So I've used the gig apps to put that conference together. I have sponsorship deals, I have great connections with people, and I make, a, I make good money on YouTube. And I did all that by starting to do DoorDash and UberX and Uber Eats and Postmates a little bit and Instacart since this past last November. So I'm definitely betting on myself and I'm definitely showing people the things that we've been able to accomplish, you and I, on this channel. This channel is also about motivation for all you new people out there. I share my stories. I share the good, the bad, the indifferent. I got plenty of chan uh, videos, me being upset, ranting, raving, showing you the real. It's relatable content, right? And I'm very humbled that any of you guys give me any of your time, right? But the real reason I still do DoorDash is in my market, you can still make good money. You can still make a good profit, of profits, not just money, but profits at the end of the week if you know what you're doing. And I have helped thousands of people at this point. Endless people I've helped and it feels fantastic. And I continue to do DoorDash because it works on my schedule and I got a lot of other things going on. Building this bet on you brand, helping people, employing people. At the gig conference, we employed nine different independent contractors, nine. Put cash in their hand, they all had a great time and they will all, they're all looking forward to working the next event. They each personally told me that. So I'm definitely building something here. So for anybody that's like, why are you still doing this? Why are you still doing this? I can still make money. I enjoy it. And it gives me the freedom and flexibility to work at my schedule, like legit. I don't work Saturdays and Sundays. I haven't worked a Saturday and Sunday since my daughter's been born. And she is 13, almost 13 months old now. I'm home most nights by five or six o'clock. I don't even start until at the earliest 9.30, maybe 10.30 is about my normal time. I get to spend every breakfast with my kid and dinner with my kid every day of the week. That's why I still do DoorDash. That's why I think it's still a great way to make money, 
but you gotta have an exit strategy. And I have one. And I've been working on that and I work a little bit less every three months or so, my hours per week on average go down. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing exactly what I wanted to do with the gig economy. So for anybody out there that thinks the conference was whatever, hey, do one yourself. I would love to see somebody else pull it off, do one and bring people together in your region. That's what this is about, right? Gig conference, I started it. Let's see who else can continue to do it, finish it. These conferences and the things that I do on YouTube are gonna continue to grow and diversify and be different because I'm making money in many different ways. And I try to show people you can use the gig economy to do that and bet on yourself. So for those of you that can't see that, I'm sorry. This is a little motivation for y'all. I just bought a house four months ago, three months ago. YouTube was a big part of that. So I love the comments. I love the suggestions. Keep bringing them. I absolutely love it. I'll answer any question. If your comment gets deleted, that's not me, that's YouTube. So I've deleted one comment of my own I put out there once and one other comment that was just like crazy. I leave every comment, your feelings, your thoughts, your opinions on me or anything else are completely welcome in the comments and anybody could come on my show every Sunday at nine central, 10 Eastern. I put the StreamYard link, it's open for any and anybody. Anybody has questions, comments or concerns, I welcome all opinions on my channel every live show. I am, in my opinion, just one of many solid content creators giving you guys information, opinions, and entertainment. And there are many others out there that do it way better than me, and they maybe you can vibe with them. But at the end of the day, this channel is about betting on you, setting goals, and doing it one day at a time. I live and breathe that, in my opinion, better than anybody on YouTube in this space right now. And I show you guys that every day. So to everybody that thinks I'm wasting my time doing conferences, why are you still doing DoorDash, what's going on? I hear you, not even mad about it. But are you accomplishing the things that I'm accomplishing? I want you to, but are you? Some of you are, some of you might not be. Bet on you set goals one day at a time. This is just the beginning and I've been saying that for the last few months now. For those of you that have been rocking with me since the beginning, just wait to see what we do next year at this conference. Wait to see where we're at about five years from now. I, I'm gonna keep this video as a reminder to everybody. And when I've done and accomplished the things I wanna do and I continue to keep going, and employing people, making people money, inspiring, this is a record of that. And somebody will watch this and we'll watch this clip together as I'm being interviewed by somebody and as I'm employing people and we'll have a nice little laugh at it. See you guys tomorrow. Yeah, zero miles. Yeah, seems about accurate. <laughs>